so far through camp? How is your position room doing? Yeah, really well. No, excited to have the guys that we, you know, we recruited here. Our room's getting a little more full, which is good. So it's been really good to have those guys out there and, and just getting better every day. I mean, doing the one and oh thing, you know, all that and uh, really pushing hard just to bring the group together and get everybody closer. Uh, pushing for that as an offense as well and then ultimately as a team too. I know it's been a big thing for Coach Riley and for all of us is just to bring the guys together and, and really get that family feel with the guys. Like finish the year obviously with that, that injury and missing yeah. time. How have you seen him kind of hit fall camp and, and really progress kind of through the offseason? Yeah, he's been great. You know, he was ahead of schedule coming back to get, get right there and get healthy. Um, a lot of work put in in the offseason, so super proud of him for that. Um, he's been great during camp. I mean, nothing major has come up so far. Um, just trying to be smart with him and make sure that he gets through camp healthy and he can play uh, uh, game one. Uh, but I know he's excited for that as well and looking to have a really big year. It's obviously a very young room. Has anyone emerged that where you feel comfortable playing them besides, you know, late being the veteran in that room? Yeah, you know, I think uh, Kate Eldridge has really had a good camp uh, coming off of his redshirt year. Uh, I look for him for sure to be in the mix. Uh, Joey olson has been really good throughout the time he's been here as well. You know, as we kind of progress through camp, we'll see Walker Lyons and those guys. Uh, but really excited about the talent level that they bring. Uh, really dynamic with the ball in their hands. So it can do some really good things. And coming along pretty well as blockers too, which is really important. So um, getting Carson Tabarachi back as well will be really, really big for us as well to kind of bring more of a veteran presence there too. Is that an aspect where you want to see more from the group this year is in the run in the run game? Yeah, for sure. I mean, I think just kind of everything, you know, we, we need to be better out in space as well. Uh, we've made a big push. We get the ball in our hands of, of making plays, not just being possession guys, you know, and um, so we've worked at that throughout the, the off season. That's something they've pushed really hard for. Always have to have to work on technique and fundamentals in the blocking game. I mean, it's just part of it. So um, we, we spend a lot of time on that stuff and just making sure if, if there's a 280 pound DN, I can, I can, you know, man them up and block them and do well. Who has stood out as a blocker so far in ball camp? I think Kate Eldridge. Uh, he's, he's a big, strong, physical kid, and uh, he's really starting to gain an understanding of kind of how to stick your face on somebody and be really physical, and he, he, he embraces it and likes it too. So the big thing with him is just playing under control and uh, trying to find that fine line between being really physical uh, but still being under control and be able to maintain that block as well. Have you seen a confidence jump with Joey? Just, you know, got the spring under his belt. Feels a little bit older now that he's, you know, in summer. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I, I, if anybody can come in the spring, it's such a huge advantage for them because they just get to know the process. They get to know how practice flows. You know what the expectations are from coach and from from me and and uh, the plays and all that stuff. Obviously, too, they have a base foundation, uh, knowing what our base offense is, so they can adjust and adapt a little better than somebody coming in in the summer and just learning it all right now. So they have a lot of banked reps and things like that as well. Walker obviously didn't get that, but how has he sort of, I guess, asserted himself in the fall? Yeah, he's, he's done really well. He's done really, very intelligent kid. Uh, you know, he came from Folsom, which is a really good football program as well. You could tell he is well coached. Ran a lot of the things that we run here probably, you know, so some of that's familiar to him. Uh, but being out for a couple years as well, there's a little bit of rust to knock off and that type of thing. But he's done really well, man. Really excited about him. Um, looking for him to make a major push here at the end of camp as well and hopefully get in the mix. But excited about all the guys we have right now. In terms of the team chemistry piece, it seems like it's been especially emphasized this preseason. Why do you think that is? I think it just the, knowing the, the importance of it. I mean, for all of us to do what we want to accomplish, where there's going to be ups and downs uh, throughout the year, you know, and and we have to be able to handle that together. And um, you know, you have to be able to be vulnerable with each other and and be there for each other when things aren't going our way. And then when things are going our way, have guys still holding each other accountable too. And so I know that's been a really big push uh, for us as coaches with our guys, and they've done really really well with it. And they feel how the importance of it as well. What stood out about your position group when you went back and watched the film from the scrimmage? You know, I think they did a really good job, like no MAs and busts, which is always the number one thing, no missed assignments. Um, but, you know, again, catching the ball and doing something with it after, I thought they did a really good job of that. We had limited opportunities, but, you know, in our room we talk about, you know, not counting our reps, but making our reps count. We don't know when we're going to be in and when we're not. Um, but, you know, from a blocking standpoint as well, I think Eldridge did a really good job of just coming off the rock and just knocking people back too, which was good to see. Um, Joey's, a, a, you know, getting better every single day, playing receiver. It, it's hard sometimes to go in there and block a 
Ant Lucas instead of a corner. You know, it's a little bit different. So, but he's he's gotten so much better too. And then uh, Lake just again knocking some of that rust off of Lake too, and and uh, just him getting his body back right. But so you know, all those things together, man, I just felt like we did a pretty good job throughout the uh, scrimmage. Especially with those three freshmen here now, do you just kind of sit back and look at the room and go, yeah, that this is what a, a USC tight end room should look like? Yeah, for sure. You can see it. I mean, the talent level, I think, is is where we want it to be. Now it's up to me to get all these guys ready, right? That's the next part. But they're really, I mean, we're blessed with a great group, man. They really work hard at it. They care. Um, when they mess something up, they're really upset about it. But, you know, they're good at moving on and, and getting better from it, too. So I feel like we're in a really good position there with those guys. See, when we're here, from your perspective as an offensive coach, what have you seen from the defense and the progress they've made? A tremendous, tremendous uh, progress for sure. Those guys are they're, they're playing really well together. Um, probably just more playing down the middle of people and getting better at just shedding blocks and making plays up front. Our guys are bigger. They're stronger. Uh, at the end of the day, that's, that's so much better for us offensively, O-line, tight ends, blocking scheme, because we're having to go block Cam Fountain and some of these 275, 280 pound DNs by ourselves that are really trying to challenge us in our group too. So, um, but you know, uh, there's so many veteran presences over there that were really great additions for us and great team guys too. So I'm excited about them. I'm excited to, to be on the other side and watch them play on Saturdays too. Thanks guys. Thank you.